I had to walk on for the worst offense in college football, University of Louisiana Monroe, and this is my story. They say I'm an underdog or whatever, but the two-star rating is all for show. I'm much, much worse. Don't tell anyone, but my mom paid off a recruit to give me that rating. Now, yes, locals at my 1A high school would say I'm somewhat of a signal caller. Even though I can improvise and think on my feet, no one believes I'm ready for the next stage. Definitely couldn't play for Colorado State or CU, and at one time, I thought maybe even going into the military. Instead, I met with Donna Harper, who runs a TV channel somewhere in the 300 range. It's way out of sight, out of mind for most people. They maybe get about six, seven concurrent viewers. Anyways, I should be nicer to Donna. She's a family friend and just wants to know where I'm going to go to college. For me, I want to find a program that will develop me over time. A prestigious head coach, storied history, or same head coach for my entire career. I just want to play. Put me in. So let's go storied history. Rad is quite literally my first name, so I need to go have a fun college experience. Just like that, Donna came through with an article. On signing day, I announced my decision to come after that booty. General booty in the Warhawks, that is. They have the worst offense in the game, and if I have booty always on my mind, I should be able to rise up the depth chart. Rad King packed up his bags and took off for Louisiana. First thing I did when I got to campus, I looked General Booty in the eye, shook his hand, and we went to the field to throw some balls. Because of that great session, I already got to upgrade my accuracy. 66 overall, maybe Rad's just a late bloomer. Nick Tanner, offensive coordinator, is blowing up my line. He says, quick pointer, you can earn my trust through in-game and practice performance and the decisions you make. Rad is always cool, calm, and confident, even if he's the worst player in the league. So we hit him with the play me as early and often as he can. Looking at my weekly agenda, I just spent some energy to prep for my upcoming test. Need to hit the iron, and of course focus on becoming a local legend. Rad is always socializing. And is this a glitch? Zero cost to study? Last energy point, more socializing. For the first practice, let's just go with the past skeleton. All right, we got six seconds before we get sacked, so let's just dop it out to the receiver going all the way to the end zone just at the one looking to dump it off to our running back there's rad's first touchdown how rad was that it may only be practice but he is always feeling cool about what he's doing out on the field okay now rad's looking like a real one out here two touchdowns already Heisman or not, that doesn't bother him. He's going to go find his receiver wherever they are. This is crazy. We must have been hitting the gym hard. <laughs> Working out with booty is already starting to pay off because we were not making plays like this in high school. I can tell you that. Got him breaking away, so we just pass it out to number six, who goes all the way down the sideline. Oh, yeah. Over the middle, wide open. Once again, he just burns right past him. Making it look easy out here. I'm not going to lie. Somehow, we only got bronze, so I felt like I did way better than the results actually show. My man booty blowing up my line late night love to see it i read that last line sleepover i thought he was asking me for a sleepover but instead he wants to make sure i wake him up for practice can totally go behind my man's back and sabotage him but i have to help him out because he's done so much for me stepping foot on campus so far leadership and teammate respect going up pocket presence is the name of the game oh do we have to go pick up the ball or something oh no hey yo i just destroyed <laughs> Huh? Thought it was like 2K or something and had to pick up the basketball. I totally botched that practice. Somehow coach enjoyed what he saw and we're moving up the trust meter. I'll spend this week studying because I need to understand these practices better going forward. Game week against not the experts pandas. This should be fun. And dang, the FCS team is just as good as us. This is probably what it would be like if North Dakota State in real life went up against ULM. It could be a very close game, if not North Dakota blowout. Here come your Warhawks onto the field. First look at them in game there's booty i made sure he woke up on time for this one i just get to sit on the sidelines watching that sim go back and forth so far we have the lead but don't count out the pandas who tie it up here before half it is now a seven point ball game looking like a battle down to the final minute and the pandas are ahead now it's tied up it could go ot and warhawks pull it off by three what a nail biter. Hey, first look at us on the field. There's Rad King getting some celly and fun with his boys. Booty out here for 320 and three, not bad. Pandas have the slight edge on offense and much better on the ground. Riding Pine pays off, we're going up some more. Darius Bailey giving me a heads up that freshmen need to carry out senior pads to the practice field and then take them back. So looks like it's our group's turn. And Rad King thinks it's probably good since we're a walk on to to just be a team player and not ruffle any feathers. Karen always down my neck 
like about GPA? Man, my phone just keeps buzzing since I've been out here in Louisiana. Now Ricky Slicks, a local barber shop, wants me to get a haircut and make a video out of it. Easy enough, I'm in. We studied enough last week, it's time to hit the gym. I'm gonna get redemption in this pocket presence mini game. I can't mess up like I did last time. All right, so here we go. I think we can go ahead and just get a ball randomly out of our, I don't know where we're pulling this ball out of from, but we're just getting more balls left and right. And I just got hit by a tennis ball. Yo, what are we doing? Oh, there's a target. All right, I think I got it. Just trying to figure out how fast these things respawn. We got the hang of it now. Just dodging tennis balls, hitting targets. Uh, you know, just a typical practice. Holy. There it is. That was a beautiful shot. Watch out for that big tennis ball. Flying balls coming across the field in every direction. I gotta be careful out here as time expires. Got silver out of it, much better for the second try. Barely survived the pandas, we're taking on the blazers in week two. Maybe the home fans will create a hostile environment, making it one of the toughest places to play in all of college football. We can hope for that. Maybe that'll be enough to rattle the Blazers. You never know. Blazers take the lead, and it looks like it's tied up at halftime. Unfortunately, the Blazers, though, are just moving it down the field. I think they got it up by 10, up by 13. That's going to be ball game. They need to get Booty out of there ASAP. He's playing like Booty. Amari Thomas, player of the game. Two catches, but they both were for six. Congrats to the Blazers. We're in for a rough year, huh, Warhawk fans? Now, here we go. Delaney speaking Rad's language. They're going for a party off campus. Don't you have that lab, though? Well, Delaney, Rad is my name. It wouldn't be rad of me to say no. I'm risking it. We're skipping that lab. And at the party, one of my TikToks went viral with it, so I got a couple hundred more followers. I need to take a second and look at this coach trust meter because I want to know what comes next. I see a play art symbol underneath some of these points. I see that active rewards button on my screen says times four, but what kind of like rewards am I actually getting? All I know is I'm going to be hunting down Hunter when I get around the 50 5600 range and then general booty the man the myth the legend at 8000 but the meter definitely doesn't stop there it looks like it gets upward of 30k six more energy to spend let's train and get that skill point yes sir and then i'll use one point to recover some health there we go i've been neglecting the leadership bar but i see the impacts in the bottom right there are the most amount of things compared to the other items so you know what i'm gonna have to hit that that felt good let's hit it again all right fine one more time and wow i just realized some of the upgrades here require a lot of skill points so that one measly one i just got isn't gonna do much rad's gonna be scrambling looking for an open receiver what just happened so i'm supposed to run to the plus 500 zone right three two one pressure there we go picked love it let's go scramble to the left why not we got an open little zone here go ahead and make a play for me let's try it again scrambling out to the 500 zone looking for anyone to get open lobbing it up all right i would like one completion please one completion from anyone okay i know what mini game i'm not gonna be playing much of what did i say earlier about karen always reminding me about my gpa and tests well i guess i should study a little and i need to work on my brand i think i messed up a deal with the barber shop I don't really know what the point of playing past skeleton outmanned is when you get essentially the same rewards as the normal one, except there's just more defense this time. Who wants more defense? This game seems to be more my speed though, for being honest, because I'm dotting them up. This is what the coaching staff needs to get ready for if they go with me on the field. We take our time, lob them in, hit that window. I like this drill, but let's be real. No one ever gets this much time in a game. Especially when you're ULM, I can imagine the sacks are coming in within seconds. Surveying across the middle. There we go, number three. Anyone out here getting gold on this one? That's you. Let me know in the comment section how you're doing it. I'll be a good sport and root on the team when they take on the Longhorns in Austin, Texas, but in the back of my head, I just know it'll be a surprise if we don't lose by 50. Here comes the horns and the mascot. Both of them look amped, ready to go. This is a tough atmosphere to play. It's a night game, and yeah, we're gonna be in for it. They strike first on the opening drive of the game, and before the first quarter was even over, it was already 17-0. Let's just see how far and how bad this one gets. At halftime, 38-0, keeping it moving, 44-0. And finally, in the fourth quarter, a garbage time touchdown makes it 47 to 7. 
Are you surprised? Atrocious. Booty through for five interceptions. This leadership ability might become my new favorite because I get so many effects across the board. Going with target practice here, I don't think I was ever too great at this one, but we'll at least hit that one. Don't really know the strat too well. I think I'll let this guy curl back in. We'll lob it up to him. Go through two. Bingo. Can get right up on this target. And go ahead and just throw it up and over. I just noticed it's like the same route they're calling every single time. So let me go ahead and lob that one up. Maybe clip a second. Okay. I guess it's better to hit targets than even complete the pass, right? So let's go ahead and lob that one. Shoot. Not bad. Not bad. Simming right through the Troy game. Looks like we're off to a better start. Maybe we got our booty torn up. No pun intended in practice by the coach because we got slammed by the Longhorns and didn't want that to happen again against Troy. So we'll walk away with a victory. Big dub. There he is. Rad. Looking rad out there, my man. If I focus a good amount on leadership this week, I might be able to get into high, which we do. There we go. I'm going to try to go much quicker at the pass skeleton here and get as many points as I can. Yeah, I'm confused, man. I don't know how all of you guys are getting golden up if you are, because I'm stuck on bronze land. If I can even get bronze this time playing the drill. Seven seconds left. It's no sure thing. Was not expecting a pop quiz from our offensive coordinator. He wants to make sure we're actually prepped. So which of the formation types would you most likely have an ineligible receiver to one side? Yeah, sir. 50-50 chance. I'm going to go Mills. Let's go. Who's running the corner? Ah, uh, two out of three. Still pretty good. Somehow we messed up that last one. Darn it. I didn't know the shotgun doubles right Z spot. I just blanked at the exams in one week. So hopefully I get time to cram on the next weekly agenda. See if I can go ahead and figure it out in this one. One, flicking it out to our running back he takes off all the way maybe i'll do better at this one than i thought i just gotta click it when i know i'm not going for it and there we go good pitch another touchdown maybe this is the one for me huh again click flick easy peasy this is the practice i need to see because in some of my dynasties already i'm having a hard time running the option so i should have just done road to glory sooner oops Really shouldn't have done that, but we'll go ahead and cut it left. Maybe we got the speed to get around the edge. We do. We made it work somehow. Based on how well that went, I might have to run it again next week because I think I can get the gold. Didn't know what I was doing for a second, but now I do. Rad's a team player out to support his boys against Southern Miss. The Southern Miss unit is 4-1 and one on the young season, off to a promising start. We'll see if Louisiana Monroe has something to say as they take the lead in the fourth quarter, but choke it right back. Final seconds, it's over. We had them, then we lost it. That is not cool. Not trying to hate on my man, but 47% passing completion, only one touchdown. I guess this is why Karen was riding me so hard. I got three Ds and an F. My GPA should be adjusted. I might not be able to play, so I need to pick it up here and study harder. Interesting. It is exam week, so I should pump this and at least be unprepared a little bit, right? Get around 26. No way. Five is so slow. If this is Georgia or Alabama, they're taking our butt down. King, moving it. That was rad. Flawless right now on the read options. I really should be doing this all the time. Just secured the gold, and I got one more play in me. I pitched it, and I sacked, and thankfully it didn't matter. Got plus 500 coach trust. Now the question is if I can keep using that mini game to stack coach trust. Audrey has a couple friends throwing a party and asking me to go. Apparently this thing starts at midnight and we're on a curfew this week. If I'm looking to get blocked, I'll go overly eager response, but I'll just play it cool. I'm so down. Got a 750 follower bump. Go ahead and train some more. Might need to recover so there's one and then i'm starting to think maybe i just need to train harder because focusing on leadership when you're a third string quarterback not really paying off looks like i can play the same mini game and continue to earn coach trust if i'm proving anything to coach it's that i'm a reliable option threat out here i'll spare you guys some of the footage because i'm gonna be running options for like the next minute or so i was thinking about saving up eight points for power might as well start getting some accuracy boosts that can up my overall and get me into the position battle conversation sooner i believe at least that's how i remember ncaa 14 the higher overall you were the less you had to do to get into a battle i just got exposed by the coach he got sent a picture 
of me at that party we were at and well looks like we didn't make a good impression and we have now significantly less coach trust looks like i was right about the overall assumption even though i lost coach trust because i was at that party i'm closer up on hunter and then even general booty fell from his 8,000 point lead so you know what that means more gym going crazy with it with three points i can upgrade accuracy again Again, which I do 72 overall fingers crossed I get a position battle for the backup job next week but for now it looks like Monroe is on top 21 to 6 at halftime all we got to do is keep playing good defense textbook football you know the X's and O's the whole whiteboard kind of thing keep drawing it up and that's a win Dang, okay, after this recent week and the upgrades I put in in the gym, we're way past Hunter on the backup depth chart and then general booty better start trembling. With that, here comes the challenge against Hunter. Before we get to Hunter, I gotta deal with this clown first. He wants to slide me all the answers for the upcoming geology task. And if I get caught cheating, I could get kicked off the team and out of school. I think this is way more serious than a midnight party, depending on, I guess, what's happening at that party. If it's just drinking fruit punch and hanging out playing college football 25, no big deal. But in this case, this one has a higher risk, I think. So let's study ourselves. Since we trained hard last week, I was already planning on recovery and studying this week. My first position battle in Road to Glory history, the first of many, I'm sure. I don't know exactly how this works. I haven't watched any videos either on what happens at this stage so it's all new to me scanning the panels i have to beat 2000 points and i have a minute to do it so it's just a past skeleton mini game and i think i can do that it's the past skeleton that's our bread and butter hit that curl yes sir we're well on our way unless something big can happen fast all the way cut up field number six that big play was all she wrote in a touchdown for emphasis now i got three seconds left i can go ahead and try to get some more points out of it which i will not Oh no, there are more mini games. You have to pass all three, it looks like. This time we need 10,000 points and it's Scramble Survive. I sucked at this one in the last time I tried it. I don't know why I was so bad, but I just was. Like I know the right idea here. You're supposed to scramble and survey and look for someone. There it is. Yeah, this isn't good. This is not good. I repeat, not good. Option attack, this is my bread and butter. If I can win this, I wonder if I'll just go ahead and get the position. We'll soon find out if you just need to win two or three mini games. That would make sense. I think I just learned something anyway on that last mini game. Were those just spot multipliers? Like I didn't have to go to that zone. I could have scrambled anywhere essentially. That was just a bonus point zone. That would make more sense. We fumbled and lost our multiplier. So we're gonna have to reset. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to get to 16K. There it is, Coach Trust and QB2, we're moving up. Wow, the Coach Trust just stacks because we slingshot past General Booty. Like a good lad, I hit the books a bit more and we're getting ready for this exam. Into the next week, I am slightly confused why I have more Coach Trust but didn't get a challenge General Booty for the job. Anyways, we'll hit the books one more time. Now we get into the basic range and then back to training, of course. Maybe it's something where you can't position battle in back-to-back -back weeks. Heck, that might be it. What I do know is if the general can't hang here against Auburn he should get his booty right back to the bench and start warming it up let me get in there and have a crack at it as the backup I am on standby duty you never know what could happen in the span of a game we might get called into action for our first time it is a close game 3-0 at half now 10-0 I'm surprised somehow ULM's hanging in there Offense, of course, doing nothing to help the cause, except at the end, a little spurt, but all in vain. Ever since Rad got exposed at the party, things have been going his way. He's been studying harder, and he's going to go ahead and accept this extra credit opportunity to write about a concert. Heck, we've been hitting the gym harder than ever, and now we have a position battle against Booty. Low key, I feel like I've said the word Booty so many times in this video. There should be someone out there trying to count how many booties I've said throughout this thing. First mini game, we need 4,000 points for pocket presence. And yep, I forgot. This one's the tennis ball thing where they're just flying out of that. We really don't want to get hit. That's the main thing because we'll lose our multiplier. We can take some time, but it's better just to not get hit. Got me scrambling, got me working. Oh, man. I don't think we're hitting that thing too well. 
There we go. That's a good one. Wait, that was simple enough. We destroyed Booty on this mini game. He's not even close to where we are at. For those that have been rocking with us since the beginning of the season, it took us a minute to get these mini games down, but I think we're doing much better. General should go pack his bags now because the option attack is my bread and butter. I cook at this mini game and I'll get a touchdown almost every time. We've already won the job, but I heck, I might as well try to get better at the scramble drill. And wait, no, I did have to go to the plus 500. My theory was wrong about this plus 500 thing. I don't like this drill at all have to go to the window and then find a guy for a touchdown yeah they really wanted me to get 10,000 points on that scramble drill thank goodness we came through a clutch on the other two you're looking at the new signal caller for the warhawks rad king started with a fake two-star rating all the way back in high school i think rad king has blossomed late onto the scene as we knock off the general. Got the keys handed over. Our first matchup is against the Red Wolves. We're on the road. They're a better team. Let's show them what we're made of. Red Wolves were a candidate for my first dynasty rebuild. Plus they got that sweet water fountain in the background. However, the community voted against it and we have settled on Boise State, which I can't be mad. That's my grad school right there. So go check that out on the channel if you haven't already. I'll get Arkansas State right, but in the meantime, we have to listen to coach and we only have one play choice. That is to hand this ball off up the middle to Smith. There he goes. Our first pass attempt is a play action, and I'm not gonna lie, that camera angle they had me at was just not it. Could hardly see anything, but now this is much better and sacked. Our first drive ends in negative passing yards. With the ball at the inches line, just need to get some separation from the end zone. For the first time, I enabled additional play selections to give myself a slant where I can go pick up this first down. There it is. I'll go ahead and get the running back in motion and then dump it to him. Unfortunately, the DB was ready. Third and six, siren blaring. It don't matter. We got the slant. I feel like I've thrown it behind him now twice, but a slip screen, that should be much better. Let's run the RPO here and just throw it out to our open receiver unfortunately there's a flag called went ahead and put bailey on a short cross let's see if i end up going to him i would have and he would have sprung free if the o-line held up we've been working on the read options in practice and that's why i keep it i hit the spin second and seven i think we're gonna take a deep shot and we have a man unfortunately i think my arm strength is not there remember we're coming a long way from being a 1a quarterback in high school we haven't proven squat the only thing we've proven is that we can listen to instructions and hit the gym hard we haven't done much else yet third down coach has me chucking up four verticals instead i'm going to make it a quick pass to the streak and why didn't he hold on arkansas state was able to capitalize with three points and now we're back to the air why are we so inaccurate i'm feeling like the booty right now let's be real hey what a completion his teammate deflected it back to him. I didn't expect that. This last completion was crazy. The receiver we were going to deflected it back in bounds. Talk about being on the same page as a team right there. To be honest, I'm surprised that worked out. Back to the slip screen. He's got plenty of daylight. Hurrying up to the line. I'm going to call a stick as the audible and dump it out to our running back. Check down King right now. Just past the 100 passing yard threshold. We have 30 seconds to get into that end zone. Coach really out here calling four verticals. I'm convinced this man has no idea what he's doing and how he's even coaching a college program. What are you doing? That's just not what you do. But we'll jet touch patch it. The number six didn't work. Call timeout. I hope that last drive will translate into a much hotter second half for me as we find a receiver that was open and it's inaccurate again. All my training has been in the accuracy department, so we should be connecting on more passes than not. Hello? I need the defense to keep holding for us because it's a matter of time till we break one here and that spin move by the running back was clean. Running the fake jet touch. Yep, let's see how that pans out. There we go, we got a man. Can we hit? Yes, first and goal. Let's freaking go, man. I'm gonna read option that thing and get pile drived into the ground. I had to convince coach to give me a couple other play options and we'll go with the stick so I can dump it out to our running back for the lead. Our first collegiate touchdown in the book, taking the lead late over Arkansas State. Can only live in excitement for so long because we're thrust back out onto the field looking to make something happen intercepted that just floated too long defense giving us another chance out here but all for what you can see if general booty's having to deal with this offensive line look at the pressure as i threw another interception that can't be on me arkansas state scores so this thing is a wrap i can't do much about it everyone's dropping balls now too for real though in real life if a backup played like this and wanted to win the job you ain't winning it off of that performance 
Dang, that's crazy. Hunter has a negative 800 coach trust and general booties at 400. So I think it's safe to say we're gonna be okay for a little while. Wear and tear was impacting our ratings pretty bad. I already spent one point. I'm wondering if I should send another point. With two skill points, I just put one into IQ. I think awareness would be a positive thing to increase. I know at least in old games, it would influence the amount or probability of receivers catching it. Officially out of bowl game contention, this will be the last one the Warhawks play in this year. And it's against their rival, the Raging Cajuns, a little in-state matchup. And it's beautiful. They have the P40 Warhawk alternate. Maybe Maybe that's exactly what I need to get my first win. Pulling up to the crib in style. Bring out the Warhawks. This is a exciting uniform. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know they were this drippy. I do appreciate a good uniform. And although they're a bad team, this drip uniform will look even better when we're going to the college football playoffs if everything goes to plan. Starting off the game at midfield was a good kick return. Now we'll hit the play action, throw it out to our tight end, and we're off to the races. It always takes one game just to get your feet underneath you. Now that we've been around, have some experience underneath us, maybe we'll end up surprising the nation with some good play. I noticed on the wear and tear panel, we're getting hit in the leg quite a bit and that's impacting our speed. Third and four, let's keep the drive alive. Go ahead with the slant, brother. I'm hurrying up. I don't care. Can I call that? Nope. Coach wants to punt. Wondering if I should go on this camera angle where I put it back a little bit further so I can see the whole field a lot better. Where the frick was that? I misclicked. I'm not going to lie. Now we got the snowflake underneath our name. We have to put in some work. Would be mad grateful if someone wanted to catch the ball on this team. Please. Not trying to make excuses, but this is honestly extremely difficult. And why was that so inaccurate? He was open if we went to the left. Are you seeing why I had to walk on to ULM? It's because coming out of high school, we were cheeks. I had to study and learn the playbook to even get a chance. I may be good at preparation, but it doesn't prep you for the real thing once you get out here. There we go. He should be open. No, he's not. 38 seconds left. Fake jet pitch. Just going to let one fly. Does he have a step? into the bucket what a pass what a completion touchdown right before half that was special pulled one out of our booty i should say warhawk nation let's fly scrambling out to our right on the run that's the scramble drill coming in handy how in the world do they expect people to play in this angle right here you can't see anything and then the one play i tried to just show you all i fumbled that's why you can't play in that angle i'm gonna stick with the one that shows me the most amount of field so i have as better chance I can get already down by 24 I just need to get some practice so I can at least have some more points or something to hang my hat on maybe we can catch another DB nap in but for now it doesn't look lightly get that thing out calling for a double pivot this one got open third and seven let's just go across the middle secures it DB pressing up on Griffin there I'm on the right side I might have to send it to him because he has a step maybe he'll go all the way holding on no seriously another bummer out here what else can go wrong an interception just like that that's what could go wrong i like a challenge but this is extreme i'm not gonna lie we do have a man deep do we have the arm though if we had better than a noodle and had something like Patrick Mahomes' arm, that thing would have got there in plenty of time. Audibling Britt to just go for a streak, and he has another step on the DB. Will this one get there? It does. Touchdown. Coach says go for two, so we hand it off. He's got it. Not even a minute goes off the clock, and they score. Third and seven, making him stumble. Another receiver with a step. We found him. Okay, now some ULM receivers with some break off the line. First time seeing the fire symbol underneath my name. That's awesome. As we go for the read option, in and out, King to the first down marker. Two seconds, one second, end of the third. Fourth quarter, I heard Mo Bamba blaring in the background. We're down by 23. And all of a sudden, and coach is content with just handing the ball off on every play like he wants to get out of here and now he wants to call my line on a big fourth down we're just gonna lob one up to the tight end he got it count on me beautiful 17 point game but this two point conversion could help three touchdown passes though we're shaping up all things considered this has been a great growth year in our first season this is the type of stuff that 1a high school football does not prep you for so i'm proud of rad king for putting in the work feel free to go in the comment section and give rad king as many pointers as you want because he needs help this team needs help 
Let's figure out a solution. Garbage time. They still want me to sling it till the very end, so I'll have to show what I can do. All said and done, 24 points is what we can muster up to the Raging Cajuns 47. I haven't heard from old Donna in a while, but she said UL Monroe has been playing rough. Thanks, Sherlock. We know what needs to change. Uh, Low-key the entire team, but I don't want to blame them. Coach as well. Might need to dial up some better plays. Let's just take the blame. It's the rad thing to do. A team rallies around you when you do that, except my brand takes a hit. Jacob from the student newspaper wants to know how we can get to a bowl game next season, and I'm going to call out the teammates. Kind of feels two-faced to answer like that because we just took the blame in one interview, and then I blame my teammates in the second one. If that's not indicative of the team being in disarray, I don't know what to tell you. Not sure if I took a concussion, but why is our academics all the way down to clueless? We were up at basic and it looks like we're gonna fail a test jackson arnold as a sophomore quarterback for oklahoma booties ex-teammate crazy won the heisman getting into the off season honestly just gotta keep pumping the gyms we need skill points we can go ahead and enter the transfer portal and look for a better team but honestly we have a lot of room for improvement ourselves so that makes no sense let's take it out and grind for the warhawk oh no it looks like they went out and got a transfer portal quarterback w white and the booty era might be done but there's this new guy in town in fact it looks like we're battling it out for the qb2 position that's right qb2 what happened i'm now third string sometimes quarterbacks get better in real life and you position battle it out like in the spring game and all kinds of things so maybe this is what's simulating that realism that's what it is too general booty is the starter but he had off-season training results is what i'm imagining and we did not since we're focused on our week-to-week -week progression. I think this is the perfect way to end off episode one of Road to Glory Quarterback Edition. Booty talking smack to us saying, you're not going to take my job. Oh yeah, let's talk back, General. You might be the main guy now, but I've arrived and I don't plan on being back up for long. That's right. And if you've been soaking it up, hit that subscribe button and keep it here with King Sponge for all your college football 25 needs. And I'll see y'all in the next.